Salamu alaikum salamu alaikum jamalu Salamu alaikum manim valu Ala mo be saba ma Ala mo jusola ji Ganta komini ala tami abwala Ala fanga di magma Ese kuma mo mo ba wye Aya ebi esi mo go ka ju kele Ala ju kele Mo mo go kwita to misi la bina Ali nyala Ala kani yukono fi ko bicha na kila mulu And I want to take this time today to inform the public concerning the land dispute in Nima County. And something is about to happen in Gangtan, Nima County. And I hope that President George Mana Wuyad is listening to me. I hope the political leaders in this country are listening to me. I hope the stakeholders in this country are listening to me. Or in our citizens, citizens of this country, I hope they are listening to me. Something is about to happen. You know, yesterday, the Chief Justice of the Papua of Labiro, Francis Papo, who I described as criminal, is the one behind the land dispute in Nima County. Our people have been marginalized the past 14 years since the Civil War is over, ECOWAS came in, they gave huge amount of money to research our people. We don't know how the money, who ate that money. By the end, there were people, people they are occupying the Madingo people land in Nima County. So yesterday, there's a guy they call Swa, and this guy is involved in criminal activity in Nima County. He went, we found a court order, we found a ruling for the court, he went and paid some of the police guys, they went and demolished, they carried on, and they destroyed the homes of Madingo people in Ganta and Lima County yesterday. Yesterday, they break over 50 homes. Now most of our people are displaced in Ganta and Lima County. Then this morning again, there was a tension in Lima. But who is the cause of this problem? It's the Chief Justice of the Papua Labiro, Francis Papo. Because Francis Papo is a man of man. And most of the judges in, in, in Nima County are Manon people. He used that occasion to appoint most of the judges in Nima County. So our people have been marginalized. But right, you take your vile mayor from now, from Cape Man and send a judge in Nima County. But you send him Manon mayor, all the Manon people are judges in Nima County. Do you expect Madingo men to get right? And now, uh, we are calling on the Liberal National Police. We are calling on the government, the army, the citizens of this country. They are about to attack our people tonight. That's the news I want to break up. They are about to break the mosque, to burn the mosque tonight. And some of the guys, as far as they are using police uniform now. They are using army uniform now. They are preparing. Then I say to myself, if a single Malingo man is killed in Ganta, that means we will kill the Chief Justice of the Republic of Liberia because he is responsible for the land dispute in Nima County. If a single Malingo man is killed in Nima County today, some of us will sacrifice our life because enough is enough. We have been marginalized. We have been marginalized. My energy in Sari came to fail to settle the land dispute in Nima County. It's still continuing. The Gills and the Manos, Madingo, we have been in peace. Why do you think we have authority yet? We have the power, we have government. Why the government can intervene to solve some of the problems? But my major concern is today. If a single Madingo man is killed in Nima County, the Chief Justice of the Republic of Liberia will hold him responsible and he will never go free. That is why today I'm in my military uniform. I'm in my military uniform today. I'm in my military uniform today. We are mobilizing our brothers and sisters. We are monitoring the situation in Nima, Ganta. We are monitoring the situation in Ganta, Nima County. Any attempt by any group of people to kill a single Madingo man. That means maybe ECOWAS or UN will come in. Because we are ready. We are ready because we are not getting justice. If you can't get justice, you have to do something to defend yourself. Because the man who is the head of the justice department in this country, Francis Papa, he's corrupt. He is the cause of the problem. Francis Papa is corrupt. He wants to bring problem in this country. So what do you expect if the Supreme Court cannot give us justice? What do you expect to do? 
Do they want us to take AK-47 to protect ourselves? We are not going to do that. We are not going to do that. So we're calling on the president now to deploy AF in Ganta. Now, today. Because something is about to happen there today. The president should call, deploy AFL, the Labrador National Police, now in Nima County. If anything goes wrong, we will hold Fresh Papa responsible, we will hold this government responsible. Now they should deploy AFL. They should deploy AFL now. Something is about to take place in Ganta. That is why I call Spoon TV, let the world get to know the situation there. And now, most of our people came today for Russian. They are here today, you see, at, the, at my residence, to show how important I am. I'm not just an ordinary person. Our mothers then, our sister then, and they are all here today. They came at my residence. They want to break fast. And they said, we're going to my Jabate homes. We are going there. I get thousands of people behind me. Even our asphalters. Some of them, we stopped them yesterday. They were about to go in Ganta yesterday. So do not overlook my information I'm giving you. If Mr. President is listening to me, if President Joshua is listening to me, please deploy AFL now in Ganta. If anything happens to our people, Mr. President, if a single Madigo man is killed, we will revenge on the Chief Justice of the Papua of Liberia. Professor Papa, I know you have a question. Thank you. Yeah, my first question has to do with why are you wearing uniform, army uniform, Mr. Tabata? And you are asking me why I'm wearing the army uniform. I'm in the army uniform today to defend my community. I'm in the uniform today to defend my community. I'm in the uniform today to die for my community. I'm in the uniform today to sacrifice my life if a single Madingo man is killed in Lima County. And you, you spoke of something big is about to happen. What is it? What I'm telling you, what I'm telling you now, is that something is about to happen because these guys are planning to point the mosque in Ganta today. They are planning to point the mosque in Ganta today. They are planning to attack the Madingo people today, tonight. So that is why I'm calling on the president to deploy AFL. To deploy AFL, I don't trust the Labrador National Police. Because 50% of the Labrador National Police, most of the guys, they are not doing. They are not doing. So AFL needs to be deployed there. If a single Madingo man is killed, and I went in my yellow uniform today to defend my people. You just accused the Chief Justice of Liberia, and also uh, you just accused the Chief Justice of Liberia. Do you have any proof for what you are saying concerning are the Chief proof? Justice? You don't know the Chief Justice is corrupt? Are you blind, Mr. Journalist? Are you not aware that this man took money from the from SYC to impeach Cabinet Janet? Are you not aware that this man is corrupt called Francis Popo? Are you not aware that Francis Popo has destroyed the Supreme Court bench? Are you not aware of Francis Papa criminal act? I'm aware of Francis Papa criminal act. And I get, I get proof. I'll be willing today if I go to jail. Francis Papa, he's not a decent man. They are the, they, he one of those that are destroying this country. He one of those that are destroying this country, our beautiful country. He has destroyed the Supreme Court bench. He corrupt. And you also threaten his life that you were killed. I just him. told you, if a single Madigo man is killed, if a single Madigo man is killed, we will be revenge on the Chief Justice. I have no regret. I told you that I'm willing to die today. I just told you, I wore this army uniform to sacrifice my life. I wore this army uniform today. The Ahmad Maybe it's, it's, it's time for me to die. If anything goes wrong in Ghana and Lima County. That is why I wore the uniform. So what will you do mm -hmm. if the Liberia uh, government don't send uh, the armed forces of Liberia that you are requesting to be sent to Nima County? What will you do? If the government do not send police and the government is on an obligation to protect life and property, personal where is on an obligation, it took off on the constitution. If the government cannot protect us, they will mobilize our ex fighter from the Yulimo kill. And let rebels to go and to defend our people. And the mover who were willing to move her. to defend our people. Who were willing to go Ganta? We just waiting for time. If the government, who get Ganta? If the government, to, if the government fail to protect us, what if the government fail? fail to protect us, then, but I know the government will not fail. But if they fail, we get our men, we get our ex fighters. <laughs> We will mobilize them, they will go and protect our people.
Mr. Jabate, don't you think you are threatening the peace of this uh, nation? What peace are you talking about? Am I threatening peace? I think it's Francis Papa that is starting violence. He's the one that threatening the peace, not my Jabate. I'm talking about my community. I want, I'm defending my community. I'm defending my community. I'm not accusing the government or SRC, but I'm accusing the chief justice. I'm accusing that criminal the cop, Francis Papa. I have no fear. I just told you that I wore the army uniform to go to jail today. I wore the army uniform to allow him to assert to the Almighty Allah. I willing to sacrifice my life if a single man is still in Ghana in my country. Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! Wallahi la hamdu! Allah Akbar! Wallahi la hamdu! Okay, that's all. What's that today? Is there any other thing you want to say? I'm calling on President George Man and Weah. I'm calling on political leaders. I'm calling on the stakeholders. I'm calling on the religious leader. Let them deploy AFL in Ghana. Let them deploy AFL in Ghana. I'm not alone. I'm not just an ordinary person. I'm not alone. So who are you with? I know you'll get to know soon. When a particular time comes, you will see more than 10,000 human beings behind me. You'll get to know that. You will see that. Let them deploy AFL now. You know how it takes yesterday police people went and looted our people home in Ganta? They and looted our homes. Our people. And beat our people. And made our people to run and go Ghana Highway. So, so, this is well, our job. I'm yeah, telling you, I'm telling you, let the president, let the president. we are, we're looking after you. We want for you to listen to my daughter, our job, man, or we are. That they're speaking to you. Please. John, Mr. President, I love you, my brother. You, my brother, you, my friend, you, my Cody. Please, please look up to Ganta Mato, yes? Bring what Josie, my papa, Zorogbe, eh, Zorogbe, Fenyana Manu Kotie, Tetachi, please look up to Ganta Mato, yeah? Bring Josie, we now have to respect you. But eh, Zorogbe, you're trying to do something. Before we get fed, we let veteran, we are lie, be lie, we are ready to die. And we will see you in Ganta, and we will come in Ganta, and America will perform. And you say, your boy, us? Ah, it shall allow, super, it shall allow, there's a fast more. You will see your horses, then what will happen there, also? Thank you so much. He's one of the ex fighters. He's a killer for the ex combatant. He's here. And uh, he's a veteran. Let the president develop AFN now. That's something I'm saying the president is not saying. Let the president deploy police now. But the police do tell our people whom yesterday. The police that is responsible to protect life and property. They were involved in criminal act yesterday. They took police from Banga. They went and looted our people whom yesterday. Barbara, don't blame, blame Francis Papa. Francis Papa. I'm my Jabate. I'm from Lima County. I'm not afraid of death. I am not afraid of death. I'm here to protect my people, my community. And I attend in Ganta to go in my mosque. We will revenge. And I attend. And I attend to bring our mosque. And I attend to bring our mosque in Nima County. Wallahi, we will revenge. And then, and then, if a single Madinga man is killed, we will revenge on the chief justice. We know where he lived. He lived Conga Town. Other people may say, my job tell me be Sunday. I'm not a man of very, I'm a sound human being, sound man, the person. UN ECOWAS, they have, they have, you know, they, they put huge amount of money in this country. He's money in this country for our peace process. We should not allow free group of people because of the political greed to honor by the peace process. We are calling on President George Manon. We have to intervene. Let him deploy the police. Let him deploy the police. Let him deploy the army. Let them impose coffee in Ganta. Let them send a delegate to solve the problem. I take this time to thank our brother, the former a, former and um, former one or two AB diplomat. Thank you for your intervention. The former Controller General, Sheku Sano. I say thank you. Thanks to Musa Bilete. And uh, thanks to all of that joined us today to make to carry on as a wedding. I hope President George Manon we are is monitoring me and I hope the government will intervene now. And then, if a single man is killed, we will reverse on the chief justice. That criminal. Thank you so much.